you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slap Tam. Today we're looking at some scary videos that are leaving viewers on edge. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. This bizarre video, which was uploaded by Humor Me Dude, proves that the ever popular Ring security video cameras can capture some pretty strange happenings in the dark. The clip begins with a man explaining that his in laws are visiting him and his wife for the holidays. He states that the video he's about to show on his cell phone is security footage of the front of his in laws' house. My in laws are from Colorado visiting my wife and I for Thanksgiving. We're in Madison, Wisconsin, and they're ring He begins to play the video where viewers can see the front of a house in the evening time with nothing seemingly amiss. I'm going to play this video up to here. I, it's 44 seconds long, so I can't play the full 60. The man pauses the video and explains that the real mystery begins when he rewinds the footage manually. As he rewinds, viewers suddenly see something very odd. Okay, look. When we back it up, we see this person or whatever it is come in frame. It looks like a person. For some reason, when the video is manually rewound, a strange figure with four legs appears. Fast forward a little bit more, I'm going to zoom in. Whatever this is has four legs. Look at that. What is that? But we back it up, okay? Press play. The man plays the video normally again, which shows no figure. It's not there. It's not on camera. He again reiterates that it's only when he manually rewinds the video that the strange figure appears, which he shows viewers again. Video editors, somebody with experience, what is this? We're about to call Ring and give him some Since Ring security cameras were founded a few years ago, many videos have popped up on the internet, claiming to show spooky footage such as ghosts, mystic figures, or unexplainable objects in front of people's houses. Skeptics believe that security camera footage can easily be manipulated with editing to show things that aren't really there. However, with this footage, we can see the clip unfolding on the phone. We see the man play the video and rewind the video live. This would be extremely difficult to hoax. And whatever this is has four legs. Look at that. What is that? So what do you think's going on in this bizarre clip? How is it that the figure only appears when the video is manually rewound? And what does it even show? Why does the figure have four legs? Love to get your opinions on this bizarre one in the comments section below. But we do this? What is this? Somebody tell us. Hey gang, just wanted to let you know today's episode's in collaboration with the YouTube channel Being Scared. They're going to be voicing a couple of segments in today's episode. Over on their channel, they narrate really awesome scary stories. We'll talk a bit more about that later in the video, but in the meantime, enjoy. This video, which was uploaded to TikTok by HR Viveret, gives a glimpse into many people's worst nightmare, an intruder in their home. An intruder is not just strange, it can be downright bone chilling, as seen in this video. In the clip, a woman is performing a dance routine to a song in her living room. All seems to be going well until she stops suddenly, having seen something at the window behind the curtain. She immediately begins to panic and asks, Who are you? A man's voice mutters something in Spanish, and the woman stops the music to listen. She continues to ask the man who he is and asks him to get off her windowsill. The man asks if he is her friend, to which the girl says no and asks him to leave, while she backs up towards her phone. No, please get out. Yes. Who are you? The woman then grabs her phone and asks the man to leave, opening her front door and yelling for the man to get out. Please get out of my apartment right now. Get out. She turns to face him again and the footage shows that the man has entered through the back door into her apartment. After the woman insists again that he leaves, the man turns around and closes the door behind him. The woman then calls out into the stairwell, hello, receiving no response. She knocks on her neighbor's door, who lets her into her apartment. Please 
policeman. Some viewers of the video allege that it is simply a prank done by one of the woman's friends, though the video owner insists it was 100% real. Other viewers praised the girl for the brave actions she took and suggested that next time she should double check her locks. What would you do if you were messing around with TikTok, having fun in your house, and an intruder barged in? Let me know in the comments below. No, please get out. Yes. Who are you? Please get out of my apartment right now. In November of 2020, the Utah Department of Public Safety discovered something mysterious and perhaps otherworldly in the state's expansive desert, as captured in this video. This is wild. Huh. Fans of Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey will immediately recognize the monolith here, usually associated with aliens or other foreign life. Is this the work of Kubrick fans or a different species altogether? In the clip uploaded by the Utah Department of Public Safety, a group of workers laugh as they show the monolith on camera. Okay, who does this kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah. One employee notes the monolith's extremely straight and smooth structure as he moves closer to inspect it further. Yeah. It's interesting how it comes right, it's right at. Yeah. It's pointed right at the moving crack. Yeah. The video then cuts to another clip showing a group of employees going to explore what the narrator of the video calls the alien life form. The workers look at the structure completely puzzled, asking, what the heck is that? They've cut it in. What the heck is that? Eerily, another monolith was soon discovered in Romania after the monolith in Utah disappeared from the desert. This monolith had a different appearance, covered in circles, unlike the smooth monolith that vanished in Utah. Mysteriously, this monolith was gone in just a week, leaving behind a small dirt hole in its wake. Millions of mystery lovers have gone on various social media and community forums online to discuss these monoliths and other different theories for their appearance. Some believe that they're the work of sneaky artists, while others are sure that 2020 has brought aliens in to finish off the year. Considering all that's happened in 2020, it wouldn't necessarily be the biggest surprise. Of course, the monolith in Utah attracted many interested visitors, including TikTok user Surge.boy. Initially, his video spooked over 600,000 viewers globally, with a strange alien figure lurking in the background. The brief video shows two girls, one kneeling over the spot where the monolith once stood, another standing with her hand over her mouth. Hours just to find out the monolith's not even here anymore. The camera person comments that the three adventurers had driven over a dozen hours just to get a glimpse of the monolith that has since been removed. With an initial viewing, the video seems straightforward and humorous. To find out the monolith's not even here anymore. But eagle-eyed viewers were quick to note something strange. To find out the monolith's not even here anymore. Lurking behind the girls in a crack of the surrounding cliff face is a disturbing black figure with long, eerie claws. Hours just to find out the monolith's not even here anymore. Viewers began to ask whether the figure was some sort of demon or alien who might have gone on to attack the group. A week after the initial video was posted, Surge.boy posted a second video to clarify that there was no looming demon figure. Instead, the dark figure was his roommate dressed in costume, proving that the video was nothing other than a spooky hoax. It was just my roommate Steve. While the video turned out to be a hoax, the monolith's origins still remain a mystery. An artist by the name of the most famous artist, aka Maddie Moe, has claimed to be the culprit behind the sudden appearance of the monoliths in the US, with an additional structure appearing in California. But since they've started showing up around the world, the mystery only seems to deepen. In early December, a pristine mirror-clad monolith appeared on England's Isle of Wight. Footage captured by Peter Hudd shows the magnificent reflective structure gleaming in the sun. Beachgoers were stunned by the monolith, and soon a crowd gathered to admire the mysterious installation. Hud commented, saying, 
it looked like it had come through a rip through time. Another witness, Tara Seek, thought the structure had to be extraterrestrial in origin. As soon as the monolith appeared on the Isle of Wight, the New York Times asked artist Matty Moe for an explanation. He said, The monolith is out of my control at this point. Godspeed to all the aliens working hard around the globe to propagate the myth. Sadly, hours after the obelisk in Atascadero, California was discovered, a rogue group of four men vandalised the site. The men, who were wearing Make America Great Again merchandise, chanted, America First and Christ is King, as they live-streamed the destruction to a website called DLive. Christ is King! Christ is King! Christ is King! They destroyed the monolith and replaced it with a wooden cross. While the monolith is inspiring manic episodes in some minority groups, it has instilled a sense of worldwide mystery in most others. While some installations seem to be the work of artists, others remain enigmatic, with many witnesses holding out hope that this bizarre structure will hail the arrival of the first official contact with aliens. TikTok user Nopalero Squad has proven why going randonauting can have very scary consequences in his terrifying video. Randonauting involves using the popular mobile phone app Randonautica to be given coordinates of locations to explore. While the app's purpose is to have individuals discover new places they haven't seen before, many users claim that the sites they are visiting are haunted by something much more sinister. The video starts with Nobolero squad and his friends exploring what looks to be a deserted house. Oh, gas That's gross, man. The friends use flashlights to explore the derelict building, the open cupboards and the graffiti on the walls. Wait, you guys heard that in the back? Wait, wait, wait. One friend notices a phrase that has been spray painted on the wall that says, You came to die. You came, you came to, to die? die. <laughs> As the friends ruminate over this phrase, the cameraman suddenly hears a sound and turns his camera to face a dark hallway. He asks his friends if they too heard a sound, and they become quiet, with one friend looking into the dark hallway. The camera turns again toward a darkened room where they spot something truly chilling. There in the dark is a pale face staring right at the group. The group runs from the house in a panic before the footage abruptly ends. The jolting image of the face has terrified many viewers who have since developed theories as to what it may have been. Many believe that the figure was a homeless person who was squatting in the house. Others swear that the figure's ghostly complexion can only be explained by way of the supernatural. UFO sightings have been the cause of much speculation worldwide throughout history. An Instagram user live from Atlantis has provided another sighting to add to the mix. Many skeptics have tried to deny UFO sightings by disregarding the objects as either planes or stars in the sky, though uncertainty remains for many others. The Instagram video filmed in Devonport, Australia begins with footage of a bright object zooming through the sky. The object seems to be white in colour with a long trail following behind it. As the object flies through the air, the individual holding the camera begins to drive their car to follow the object, speeding up as it becomes faster. The car stops as the object seems to zoom away into darkness. One thing's for sure, the object is moving exceptionally fast through the sky, 
with movements that can't be explained by a normal plane or other similar man-made flying objects. Additionally, the object flies for a long period of time, unlike shooting stars, which usually last for just a few seconds. Could this be a real alien craft or just another trick done by some clever editing? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Before we take a look at a creepy balloon that seems to float around a room all by itself, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Now here's a novel idea, give that thumbs up button there a little click, it'll really help us out. Unexplained moving objects are scary in their own right, but even more so at night. Reddit user Creamy Goodness has shared a video of his friends, which seems to show an inexplicable event. The video shows footage captured on a mobile phone of the video owner's friend sleeping in his living room. After a few seconds, a balloon pops out in the top left-hand corner of the video, flailing wildly. After another moment, the balloon suddenly moves from the corner of the room and comes towards the camera before spinning around loosely. The sleeping man's dog comes into the room and hides behind a chair, seemingly scared of the balloon moving around. The balloon takes a few more rapid movements before going back into the corner and staying still. This only lasts briefly as the balloon leaves the corner once more to move around the room. <coughs> Commenters on Reddit were quick to point out that air circulation could have easily moved the balloon around the room. They claim that the balloon's position in the corner could have made it an easy target for vents. Other commenters disagreed, saying that it was unlikely that a vent would have the strength to move the balloon so wildly around the room at two different times. While the debate remains strong, there is no doubt that the balloon's rapid movements are spooky in their own right. What do you think is moving the balloon? A draft in the room? Or something a little more supernatural? Let me know in the comments. So I want to give a massive shout out to Being Scared for helping us out with today's episode. It was an absolute hoot working with them. So their channel's all about narrated scary stories. They're perfect for just chucking on and chilling out too. One awesome feature I love is that the stories are often accompanied by rain and thunderstorm backing tracks, which create a super immersive experience. So head on over, they're an up and coming channel. If you like what you see, show them some love and subscribe to their videos. I'll put a link in the description and pin it in the comments below. Check it out. Now, if you wanna see some more scary videos then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise we have a massive curated paranormal playlist right there that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Now remember to hit that thumbs up button and leave us a comment down below. And that's it for me, I'll see you all next time.